Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Is at the bottom of the deck we have the three of pentacles and this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy so this is a card of working together this is a card of building a strong foundation um, i'm seeing cooperating uh, collaboration this could be someone from the workplace or they could just want to work together with you and build something solid something strong and long lasting okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the hierophant taurus energy the Ten of Wands in the reverse, fire energy, and the Six of Pentacles, earth energy. So someone is eager to partner up with you. Um, I'm seeing this as someone who has a lot to offer because with the Ten of Wands, it's like they want to support you. They want to be there for you. This is someone who has a lot of resources to give. Um, there's an energy of a very giving person here. Um, this can also be someone who's very wise. With the Hierophant there, they are very spiritually aware. They have a lot of knowledge. There's a lot that um, you know you can learn from this person. But I'm seeing the kind of partner who comes into your life, you partner together and they help you level up. You guys level up together as a team. This is someone who comes and adds value to your life. This is someone who you can actually almost kind of look up to and respect with that higher fat energy. Um, this person may want to take quite a traditional approach. They could have want to court you or they want to take things in that traditional sense with the higher fat there. But the Six of Pentacles, they are wanting to be partnered with you. This is someone who is fair. I'm seeing a balanced person um, and someone who can be quite spiritual with that Hierophant there. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, um, Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy, and it's in the reverse. So definitely a very generous person is coming towards you. There's an energy of someone who wants to be very open with you. This is someone who's very giving. Um, this is someone who is very stable as well. They have a lot of, I'm seeing security, some sort of material security, but there's just an energy of this person very want, very much wanting to be supportive towards you. Um, this is someone who wants to be there for you. They want you to feel like you can really rely on them and trust them. They, they're very open as well. So I do see this person is, um, you know, it's like they're very open to you. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, Earth Energy. And the King of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so with the King of Wands, this person could be somewhat of a leader. They could be, this is someone who's very uh, notable. I'm seeing that they are um, very charming, very attractive. Um, they could be in some sort of authority or this could be their personality, but this is the kind of person who takes the lead. Um, this isn't the kind of person who waits for things to happen for them. They are a go-getter. They make things happen and they can be quite used to getting what they want. So I do see a very persistent, persevering kind of person, but also a person who has a vision, someone who, um, you know, they are able to really look at the bigger picture and um, they are quite wise as well with that high fan energy. Um, this person is really, I'm seeing that they're coming towards you. They want to partner up with you. They're very attracted towards you. And I'm seeing a very compassionate, warm, generous energy on this person's part. Um, the Eight of Swords in the reverse. I'm seeing that this person is someone who, again, they're not... 
they're not stuck in their life. This is someone who has learned a lot. Um, they may have been in some situation that really taught them a lot. And, um, you know, it's like they made the conscious decision to never limit themselves. So this is definitely someone who I'm seeing a, a go-getter here. Okay, so with the two of pentacles being in the reverse, uh, this person, they're very focused on you. There's an energy of you've caught their eye. They, you, this person, there's no one else that they are interested in. There's an energy of not juggling and just being focused on making this happen here. They see so much potential in the connection with you that they are ready to really invest in this to give it their all um this is someone who is uh you know not going to be putting half efforts you're going to really see them go all out for this connection because they have a vision and they they're very confident about you and the connection here um but at the same time th this is someone who is giving in a healthy way because with the three of pentacles there's balance there's still it's a healthy mutual interdependence it's not just that this person wants to always be giving i'm seeing they do want an equal partnership but this is also a very kind-hearted generous person that's how you will recognize them um there's also an energy that they are the ones making the first move with that king of wands energy um this is someone who's showing up as very in their masculine um but there is an energy here of there's a spiritual connection that can be developed here. And this is even a kind of connection that can lead to marriage because the Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles is showing that kind of relationship, something very secure and stable and long lasting and committed. So I do see someone here who's really, they have a vision for the connection here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out an Oracle card for you, Casa. Okay, so the card says balsamic, a time for healing, balsamic moon. Okay, so with the eight of swords here and the ten of wands, um, there's something about this connection that could be quite healing. Um, there's also an energy of uh, this person introducing a kind of connection to you that's very different than previous connection. There's an, an energy here of you could have just been coming out of a connection where there was a lot of hardship. It could have been very draining. And you could have just given up on someone who made you work too hard for them. And when I say work too hard for them, I'm saying in the sense of you could have been the only person putting in work. You could have been the one. It could have been one-sided. It could have been depleting with the Ten of Wands there. And you could have felt unsupported. But at the same time, you could have felt trapped or stuck in that connection. Like you could have actually felt with the Eight of Swords being there that you were victimized in some way in a previous relationship. And this person is coming to balance out the scales for you. This person is here to give you a corrective experience. This is someone who is going to be the opposite of what you may have been through. So I do see here also with the two of pentacles here, you could have also been dealing with someone who made you feel like you were an option or that they were unsure about you and you had to prove yourself. This person will be the opposite of that. So I do see them coming here and giving you a corrective experience and this connection can be quite healing for you. It's like it's your turn to be with someone that you don't have to be the one who's overexerting yourself or the only person putting in effort. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Cancer. God says new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so this could be a new person there's an energy of them introducing um a lot of positive energy into your life there's just this feeling of it's uh, connecting with someone who's generous someone who is not selfish someone who makes you feel special and wanted and adored and worth it um so definitely this person is a gift sent to you from the universe i do see someone who is um kind of it's like this connection 
this new love, this experience is so healing. It's almost also teaching you how to love yourself again. It's like, it's bringing that feeling. It's like the way this person loves you is also going to cause you to fall in love with yourself further. You know, there's that very sweet, giving, kind energy. This person sees something in you that really it's it's really going to help you see it too it's like the way they see you helps you see yourself in a more positive way is what i'm seeing okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you cancer So the card says, Red Rose, Hidden Secrets. Three things cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Okay, so there's definitely, I'm seeing this person is also very expressive with the, the King of Wands energy and this truth energy. This is someone who, um, you know, I'm seeing they're going to love you out loud. They're going to really, I'm seeing like really being affectionate and doing some sort of gestures. But there's this energy of this person's love for you will be so obvious. You know, you won't have to feel unsure about whether they care about you. You won't have those doubts. And it may even trigger you to think back on past connections and really kind of see certain ex connections, you know, in a different way. It's like recognizing how you deserve to be treated. Um, there's just something very restorative about this connection and it's healing. It's that kind of connection that is very it's very generous and I do see it's like the universe is bringing this connection to you because you deserve this kind of love. You deserve to be treated, um, you know, like you're valuable. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, uh, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.